What's up guys? My name is Johnny. This is very important facts you should know before getting your conch pierced. Let's get it. And before we begin guys, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. We're almost at that 500K. Help us get there. And don't forget to click the like button as well. At the end of the video, please comment below what was your favorite fact of today's video. Let's begin. The very first fact you should know before getting your conch pierced is never start with a ring. Yes, folks, you might see it in Instagram, you might see it on Google, you never ever want to start with a ring. Most people that have a ring are probably healed or it's probably a cuff. A cuff is a fake piercing and a ring usually means that they already have the piercing fully healed. So you never want to start with a ring. Fact number two is you switch to the ring after it's fully healed and the healing time usually takes anywhere from six to eight months. Months. In between, there's some downsizing involved. We'll get into that later. But you could definitely get the ring. You just have to wait until it's fully healed. Fact number three is you want to start with a stud and you want to have a little bit of room just so whenever your ear swells up, you have that extra space. And after a month or two down the line, whenever it's time to downsize, you can downsize to a post that's a little bit shorter that gives you a little bit of extra room just in case you need to clean it, move it around, and do whatever you need to do. The typical size ring for a conch is anywhere from a 10 to 11 to a 12 millimeter, even up to a 13. It all matters matters depending on the size of the ear and then where the location of the piercing was as well. And the very last and most important thing is never, ever, 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 ever sleep on your conch piercing or else when you get a fresh piercing, the piercers most of the time are going to pierce it straight unless you're a shitty piercer. Just kidding. So you start with a straight piercing and if you sleep on it, you gotta tilt this way, tilt this way, and then you have a very wonky looking piercing. So you definitely don't wanna sleep on it and you definitely wanna downsize in the appropriate time. I highly recommend you guys visit your piercers once or twice during your healing time, usually the first and second month and then all the way down to the sixth and uh, ninth month to switch out to your ring. And that's today's video guys. Thanks for watching so much. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and also comment below what was your favorite fact of today's video. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll see you guys tomorrow.